What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Tree Man TV and welcome to the third and final installment of this little mini series we've got going on here where I give a bunch of my friends some gifts that they were not expecting. The second two expecting them a little bit more than the first guy and so far in this series you've seen me meet up with Calyx to give him the full Blu-ray Ultimate Edition box set of Death Note which was his favorite anime he told me. I did, bro. Omega yeah, Yo. dude. There's all kind of dope stuff in there. There's like bonus content. There's Those a things crazy. Yeah, the fucking. And you've seen me meet up with the young man K Bub to give him a cool like graphic design touchpad where you draw on the pad and it's like drawing on your computer. Did you guys know? I got him something here. He's got some sort of. Ooh, turn, see, he even wrote it all. I got you, bro. I got you. I forgot you. the app, but I appreciate it. I tried to forget oh, this thing that. is heavy. What is this? Bro, this you is... sent you sent me so many things. I know because I, I didn't want to know what it was. Yeah. Mostly. I was just like I was say, remember here guys, the difference is Calix didn't know he was getting anything at all. Yeah. Caleb knows he's getting something. Yeah, he told me and I was like, what the what is But that? he doesn't know what he's getting from his wish list. Yo, you got me the creative pad? Yes, sir. My God. <laughs> And today, for the third and final member of the series, you're gonna see me meet up with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Owen Obear. And you're gonna see right now the kind of things that I've got for him. All right, you guys, so as you may have picked on from the uh, dialogue there, I actually got Owen a couple of gifts, not just one, because I couldn't think of one solid, like $100 item to get him, so. I got him two smaller-ish items, but he's still only expecting one item, I believe, so hopefully we catch him off guard with the second item. And I can't really show you uh, physically the first item because I don't want to open it and unbox it right here, so I'll pop a PNG of it up right next to me, right here. It's this cool green screen that I got off Amazon. Uh, back when I got this, Owen was doing a little bit more streaming than he's doing now, but I feel like he can still find a way to work this into the vlogs that he's doing on his channel. Uh, but he told me he really wanted a green screen a while back, like, not even when I told him about this video series, like, just talking to him, this has been something that he's wanted, so I'm gonna surprise him with that. And then the other thing I got him is a set of accessories for his GoPro, because he's like me, and he films with his GoPro a lot when we're out vlogging. And actually, it's the same set of accessories I have for myself. So I can show you that without opening the other one right here that's still all wrapped up and sealed from Amazon. Hang on. So this should be roughly the same set that we've got for Owen over there. And we'll just open it up so you guys can see kind of some of the things. Okay, it it's upside down. Bam, there you go. So it should come with like several different mounts for his head and his chest and this cool inflatable one right here. Uh, as well as one for like his car there. All kind of different ways Owen can mount his camera and film different vlogs. So I feel like I really appreciate that. And then of course the green screen that you guys are seeing more PNGs of. Oh, it's a green screen. It's invisible. You can't see it. Uh, but anyways, we're going to meet up with Caleb actually because he's going to be holding the camera and helping film. And we are going to go meet up and do all that tomorrow. As you can see, it's late as heck at night right now. Like... 11 o'clock, I just got done playing some Siege with the boys. So tomorrow we're gonna meet up with Owen and Kebub and see how he likes his gifts. What's going on you guys? I am now in the car on my way over to head over to Medford to meet up with first Uncle Jules because we gotta work on the car while, and uh, Owen's at work this morning. And probably around lunchtime for him. So in like two or three hours at like noon, I'll try to either meet up with Caleb or if Caleb's still at work too, we'll probably just use Uncle Jules as the cameraman because he knows how to hold this GoPro and film. So either way, in a couple hours, we'll go meet up with Owen and give him that green screen and his other GoPro accessory gifts and, you know, film his reaction and see how excited he is. But until then, uh, enjoy some driving footage.
So we came here to I change this. Him by, er, sorry, I, I underweigh him by a thousand pounds. I think he said he weighed around 3,900 pounds. Yeah, those beamers are fat boys. And then, uh, I don't know what he had done to it, but I know freaking, what, they come stocked with like 300 horsepower? Yeah, something like that. So, and he did have stuff done to it, though? He had like exhaust and shit like that. I, I think he had a chip in it, whatever the... The little aftermarket chip. JV4. Yeah, or like that. that's what my dad wants to do to his, too, still. So. And I'm just like... JB4! Sounds like <laughs> JB Well! Oh no, I, I made him look stupid. Oh. Like, I, I made him fucking. It was a, basically. I, it's almost like I left him at a standstill. Have you run into a car in your car that you haven't made look stupid yet? A Hellcat. Oh, you actually got, got by a Hellcat? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but we were on the expressway. We were already fucking flying. But... Uh, Uncle Jules got got, everyone. Uh, there was a GT3. Okay, well, yeah, that's gonna get get you. That's a GT3. It's the bo we're in the boxer club with them, though, right? Same same cars? Uh, no, not quite. There's a difference between, like, a bona fide race car on the street. Right? It's like uh, an extra $100,000 or something. I mean, people take the GT3 to the freaking Nürburgring just like it is. Hey, we could take our cars to Nürburgring just like they are. People do that with their regular cars in Germany. Yeah, but a big difference. They on just show up track day. Big difference on what's gonna happen. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna change out this car stand pump. You guys can see it's a little different right here for some reason. There's a pinhole in there. And apparently normal car stand pumps for Subarus don't have that. Which threw both me and Uncle Jules off for, you know, a loop. Don't know why it's different. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. But yeah, I laughed. He's like, no Subaru has ever beat me. Oh, with his Beamer? Yeah. I'm just like, okay. Whatever. He's out here racing Outbacks. That's why no one's ever beat him. Then he, he tried to say, he's like, oh, I wasn't hitting full boost. I, I wasn't hitting full boost. It, it tapered off. Ah, it sounds like a personal problem. But then he goes, I hit full boost, but it leaked. I'm like... Does any of that make sense? No, he's got a lot of information at his fingertips too, apparently, to yeah. know all that in the instant of a race. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. He must be having some sort of live software, you know? Fancy Beamer stuff we don't have. All right, you guys, so after eating lunch, dealing with the power steering pump in the Subaru, we are gonna hop in Uncle Jules' Subaru and go meet up with Owen and give him this green screen and these GoPro mounts and see if we can get a uh, Nice little reaction out of him for this cool gift we got for him. You know, I'm hoping he enjoys it and I know he'll put it to good use. Like, it's a silver 
road, and he's like, that's like the most common car you could have just described. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, it has a hint of blue. Yeah, it'll like pearl to it. So technically, this this car is like called Chromium Blue. For all you car people out there, I know there's some car fans. Um, I'm looking for a truck, actually. Oh, yeah? Kind of. Oh, yeah, I didn't know if you want to open it, like your back. Oh, so, yeah. That way you're not in the way. Yeah, really not. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to like time lapse this because it's gonna take forever to get the tape off. Yeah, your key is gonna come right down the middle. Because I could do that. Tyus is a genius. Life hacks. I didn't think. <laughs> I've had, you know, once you unbox so many things, you start to get the hang of it too. Right. I guess I don't have to do that. It's like rip it open. Whoa. Yo, what is this? I can't tell what it is. <laughs> Here, this this might give it away. The green screen? <laughs> You got me a green screen. Yeah, buddy. Was this on the list? Yeah. I, I forgot. No, I just remembered you saying a while back that you wanted to get a green screen because yeah, you were doing okay. streaming and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, Owen, you're getting a green screen. Dude. <laughs> I had no idea you gave me a green screen. I know you don't stream as much anymore, but I feel yeah. like you could still use it just in your vlogs, probably. I could. I could. I I've got ideas. Like that maybe I you want to do a vlog more. face one day or something too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, I've been wanting a green screen for. A little while. I just haven't, like, haven't, you know, done it yet just right. because of money or, like, I'm not sure. Like, what, like I don't know where you got this one from, but Amazon. there's other brands. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to... I didn't know which brands would be good brands either, so I was just like... Yeah. So. But that one seemed like it was a, a decent size for a good price, and it came with okay. the stand. Like, it wasn't just a cloth that you had to, like, oh, right. find a way to hang up yourself. Buy a separate stand. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Dude, bro. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I hope you get some good use out of it. I Thank figure you. you will. Like, those are two things I feel like being a content creator, you'll put some good use on both those. Yeah, and are you, are you going to get one for yourself? or do you The green screen? Yeah. Uh, eventually. Right yeah. now, I was thinking, look, like, looking at my setup, I don't really got to make some space for it. Okay. But the GoPro mounts, those are the same mounts that I have. Yeah. I think that's the same one that's on my camera right now. I did a little handle one. Oh, for too. sure. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's really nice to use. You can... Uh, can you like put that like can you stick it somewhere or is it just handheld it's just a handheld okay. but they do like these are what attaches on everything so they just yeah. screw on everything else right and then it's nice because with these if you try to just hold the gopro the microphone's on the bottom so half the time i end up covering oh, up the bike <laughs> holding it the wrong way can you plug one in uh i don't there's like a mod kit for the gopros you can buy to plug in an external mic okay but i don't think stock you can because yeah. i don't think there's a mic jack that or there is, and you just have to leave it open all the side, and yeah. the battery like falls out. Okay, damn, that sucks. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it, the, the quality looks nice. Yeah, and they capture decent audio from as long as you're yeah. not like a hundred yards away or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, pretty cool. Green screen and um, a bunch uh, of GoPro mounts. Bunch of GoPro crap. Yeah. That uh, I've been needing. I want to get a new GoPro too eventually. Right. So vloggers on the <laughs> on the rise well i'm sure we'll see it in some of your content yeah go yeah. to owen Ober's channel and check him out be sure to subscribe thanks guys <laughs> a lot of car fans out there maybe i'll try to put that into my stuff we'll see right on you know? <laughs> if any of you guys come on over there cool sorry about the bad weather probably isn't great you can't control that yeah no. it's just oregon you know it wasn't like this an hour ago yeah true <laughs> cool Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that. Do you know what I'm looking at? Do you know what you're looking at? That's a green screen right there, baby. <laughs> I got it set up, boys. It looks really good, huh? I can I can make it taller, too. So there's this stand right here, and there's a little, you know, whatever. And there's that stand, and it, yeah, it looks pretty freaking cool right now. And I like it a lot. It looks nice. Um, this, this, uh, is going to be so useful for uh, anything really like streaming, making any type of YouTube video idea or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to use it at some point and come up with some ideas for it, but I'm very happy that Tyus got this for me. 
tree man really came through with the green screen and it's amazing i didn't think he'd get me this truly had no idea and um i know i had wanted one for a little while and stuff but i just never bothered to buy one because i didn't really had the money for it and uh so i'm just glad i got it now uh but yeah i i do think that this will be amazing to use just the fact that this whole thing can be uh, you know any background i want if you know how green screens work which you probably do so yeah i'm excited uh thank you guys so much for watching tree man's video be sure to subscribe to tree man tv He's almost at 250 subscribers, so subscribe to him right now. You won't miss out. You won't be sorry. And I'll catch you guys in another video at some point. So, see you guys later. Alright, you guys. Well, you heard most of an outro right there from Owen. So, really, all that's left for me to tell you is thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed our little three-part mini-series here where I bought three different gift people gifts right around a hundred dollars then be sure to leave a like and if you want to see me do this all over again with three new people then we've got to get at least 25 likes on this video or hit 300 like 300 subscribers on the channel anyways we are ending this video the very same way it started as you can tell because i've got my headset on which means i just wrapped up a live stream like 20 30 minutes ago and yeah, we've been doing a little bit more live streaming over on Twitch, twitch.com slash TV, as opposed to just going live right here on our YouTube channel, trying to extend the reach of the brand and bring more people from Twitch to come check out the channel over here on YouTube. So, you know, if you want to see me play Live Siege, uh, I started a playthrough of Elden Ring and a little bit of Apex. If you want to see anything like that, usually on Thursdays or Friday nights, be sure to head on over to twitch.com slash TV, or go subscribe to my Twitter and, you know, you'll get notified when I go live. But with all that said, until next time, this is Tree Man signing off. Peace. <laughs>